Hello everyone, this is Wistow Brony here, and welcome back to Outlast. Now, in the last... I thought you were gone. Oh, whatever the hell it went. What the frick was that? What? Oh, there's some glitch going on. <clears throat> huh. That's weird. So, um... Anyway, welcome back to Outlast. I'm not too sure how long we have to go through in the game, but I'm pretty sure that whatever this new place is... Wherever it's at. This is interesting. Ugh. It looks like some frozen... This looks like somewhere in the underground Arctic or something. Oh no. Oh god, what happened here? There is a lot of blood. Oh jeez. Hello, sir! Grab this document. Um, alright then. Is there anything around here, maybe? No? Alright then. Well, let's continue. Let's continue on, shall we? Oh god. Wait, is there any batteries on you? No. Alright then. Okie dokie then. Let's continue on. Ah, oh, God. What happened here? It looks like there's some bomb that exploded. Ah, oh, God. There's guts everywhere. Is there any batteries here? Maybe at least I can check out? Hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> that mon that one monitor is slightly bigger than the one next to it. Alright then. Okay then. Ah, oh, jeez. Some x-rays looks like we're on. Can get put in body parts and containers, are we? Ugh. That's kind of disturbing. Ugh. People really need to clean up this mess. It's all over the damn place. It is all... It is everywhere. Whatever the hell you guys did. I don't know what you boys have made, but you really need to clean this place up. Oh, hey! I guess that's where the army guards or whatever who came through. Where the military went. Alright then. Okay. Um, is this gonna be important for Raider? Or is this just a detail to the story? I'm not too sure, but... Eh, whatever. Alrighty then. Let's, um... Okay, I guess I can't go up there. Right. Let's go in here then. What the heck? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hi! Oh! Um... Oh, shit! Oh, fuck me! No! Oh my gosh! Is there some spirit chasing me? No! Go away! Ah, crap! Ugh. No! Not you! No! Oh! Okay! Okay, beat the shit out of him. That's cool, too. Oh, my goodness. What is this guy? This spirit is mad. Holy crap. You just made enough a mess, dude. Holy shit. Look at that, you can see his guts down there and everything. 
That dude's got a temper. Ah, jeez. Alright then. I don't think there's any use of closing the doors because he can go through them, right? Okay then, so I guess his spirit or subconscious mind or whatever you want to call it, I guess his spirit lives on because his body's still, his body's still been here all this time for his life support system, I guess through his um, physical body I'm taking it, so I guess now I have to destroy or somehow destroy his life support system to make his physical body die, I guess, so that his mind would. That's all I can really guess and say for, but... Alright, went over then. I guess maybe he's the main reason why this whole place went... from shit downhill, I guess. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but... gonna do what you gotta do. Okay, okay I don't know why the hell I went, though. Okay, I can't go there. Are you gonna pop up again, Billy? Billy, sir? No? Okay. Okay, I can't go there. So then I guess I go the other route. Can't go there either. Hmm. Where do I go? Excuse me. Where do I go then? I've already been there. So where do I go? Oh, in here. <laughs> Duh. It wasn't obvious enough. Baby, are you here? I feel like he is. It's probably no use of shutting the doors now because he's can fly through them, right? Since I I guess he's like in his spirit or whatever. So I guess shutting doors won't mean much of anything now, right? Probably. I guess that's what my guess is. Hmm, wait. I don't want to miss on anything, so... You guys have any batteries I can use? How many do I have? Okay, I have plenty. I'm actually more than good. Okay, then. Alright. Here we are, the cafeteria. It's probably dead parts selling. Yep. Just as I suspected. There's dead parts all around. 
gonna check over and see if there's anything I'm missing, anything I need at all. Making sure I don't miss a thing. Okay. It looks like we're good. Um... Oh! No! No, ah oh, shit, that one's closed! Back! Shit, how do I hide? Oh! Hey! Hey! Hi! Open! Open! Thank you! Ah, fuck! Go away! Ah! Go away, you bastard! Fuck me! Close! Close! No! Oh. oh shit! I don't like that! I don't like this! No! 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 Open! Open sesame! Ah, oh, no, he's corrupted my body! And he exploded me! No! Ah, oh, man! Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, dang it! It's okay, whatever. Whatever, it's it's fine. It's all fine. We'll go this direction instead. This fucking Billy comes at me again. The spirit or whatever comes at me. Okay. Looks like there's nothing in here. Okay. Alright. Getting ready to do this. Just gonna walk. So I can keep my momentum. And then run! Open! Open! Shit! Damn it! Ah! No! Go away! No! Okay, I guess I can't go that way then, so then I just go straight. Damn it, I, I tried to go right, but I couldn't go in that area, even though it was blinking lock or whatever. It said it was unlocked, but I couldn't go there still, so... Just gonna have to run through it then! Need batteries. Batteries. Anybody? Hey! Hey, you know if there's any batteries here? I'm trying to run away from a crazy madman spirit. I'm trying to run away from a devil spirit, but... Okay. No? Okay. I guess I'll just go here! I, I got to use the toilet! I gotta use the toilet, I can't take a shit or anything. You're just not aggressive with me, Billy. I can't... I can't take a shit. Right, fine then. I'll just run past you. God. Such a dick that even in spirit you're an asshole. And screw you! Open! Let's go! Let's get out of here! Come on! Alright. See ya! Oh, she's chasing me down. He is chasing me down! No, I can't do sh shit probably, but whatever. Hi! Bye! <laughs> Document. Screw you, Billy. You fucking asshole. What is this? Whoa. What is this? Is this the place where I'm supposed to be? Oh. No objective. Turn off the valve from the support wire system. Blah, blah, blah.
Um. Okay, that didn't work. Um, is this you, Billy? Jeez, I need to be out. Is this your body? Because there's, looks like there's the only one left. That one's just got smeared to blood. Yeah. So, hey everyone, this is Barry's body, apparently. Apparently he didn't go down so well. So now his soul or mind's now traveling along this place. Yep, okay, see you guys later. Yeah, you see that, Barry? I made a video about you. Made a video about you, because you suck. Okay. So now... Uh, what's this area? Guess these are oxygen tubes or whatever. It's got a shit ton of them. Alright then. Time to put you down. See if there's any thing I need. Check the information here. So like computers, machines, all that jazz. Alright then. Do not turn Val. Well, I'm gonna have to break the rules here. Shall we? Uh, you did not like that. Oh no, the screens are different now. Yep! I'm sorry, I know that hurts and you probably want to kill me, but... It ain't gonna happen. Gotta go, Billy. Unless you can behave like a real boy. Or spirit. Unless you can be a good spirit, you gotta go. Hey, what are you doing? What's this guy doing? You know there's a mad spirit out there, right? Just gonna do your real dazzly thing? Okay then, see ya. Dude, I don't know why you're scared and freaking out. He's not... I don't see him. Oh shit, there he is. Okay, that scared me. Okay, let's close the doors actually. Let's close the freaking doors. God, that actually stalled me though. Ah, fuck, don't blind me. Close. Always close the doors. Alright. Let's get up these stairs. Let's finish you off. Actually, we got one more thing after this. Jeez, this is a lot of stairs. Give me quite an exercise here. Oh, this is a big jump. Like, Nero! Thank you. Do we go over here? No. <laughs> That's the last place we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oscorp gas thing or whatever from the Spider Man movies. Pass on, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Any batteries at least? Probably don't need any, but I want them just in case. Okay. There we go. And there we are. Uh, you're in pain, huh? Yeah. You better stop this now. You better stop this, Billy. This is your last warning. This is your last warning. Okay. Another big jump. And we roll! Ah, uh, no! Let me go! Oh, crap! No! Stop it! Ah! Come on! Come on! We can do this! We can finish this! 
Now, all we gotta do is disable his, um, support system, right? We've already done enough. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? I hope you guys are. Alright, let's do this. Alright, are you ready? You ready? We're gonna kill him. No? You're not ready? Me for my but Whatever. Let's do it. Alright. See ya, Billy. See ya. Oh yeah, film that shit. <laughs> ah, crap. I'm sorry. No. Ah. Oh, crap. Gonna be okay? Just make it through. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Billy, no! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! Oh, fuck. Oh, God! Oh! Oh! <coughs> oh, God. You don't work okay. Gotta take, of course, you gotta take the buddy old camera. Oh no. Get out. Ah, uh, now I'm hunched. Uh, did he like go inside me? Okay. I wanna have a little exploring real quick. I wanna check this place out one last time before we actually get out of here. Cause why not, shall we? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't go there, I guess. Okay, then. Oh, my God. He went inside me. Oh, God. No, I guess my mind and, and spirit, my mind or spirit is fighting with his because he's trying to stay alive while I'm trying to keep my mind in, I guess. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, get up. We've been for a long journey. Ugh. That must be very painful. You must be having painful organs and stuff. Okay. Come on, pal. You can do this. You just have to get through this. Come on. Come on. There's the exit. can get through this buddy I know we've been through a long journey we've been through harsh environments in this long house area this asylum but we can escape this place we got it buddy we can go home we've seen enough come on buddy got this oh man he messed me up come on we can do this. Just a little closer. Ah. Come on, buddy. We can be home free. What? No! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! What? Wow! Oh my goodness, that was excellent! That was such an awesome game! Ah, oh, man. Oh, uh, I want that story of that. Oh, man, that was interesting. So I guess, so I guess Billy's spirit went into my body. And I guess he took over it. Or I guess he kind of mixed up whatnot. And I guess, I guess me and my body, I guess he's still webbed on, I guess now. 
I don't know. I'm not too sure what exactly happens there at the end, but, um... Man, that was actually a pretty good story. I really liked that. I really did. I, I know I didn't get as... I know I wasn't probably as scared at some cutscenes as I may have should have been at times. That's because I've seen this game before. I've seen Markiplier, I've um, done it before, and I saw Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie. I've always seen some of these people do this game before, but I figured I could go ahead and um, do a good horror game. And let me say, that was a really good horror game. That was really interesting. I loved the whole environment of the game, the whole creepy asylum with all those prisoners, I love the creepy different um, villains, those naked twins were weird and creepy, um, that little picky guy or whatever, I believe his name was Chris, that guy was interesting, that guy was actually kind of scary, but he wasn't as scary, none of these villains, the crazy mad doctor guy with the giant pairs of scissors, None of, these, none of these guys, to me, weren't really as scary as the Barry one because he was quite terrifying because he was spirits. With all the others, they were just physical madman beings. They were, which means they still had their bodies, but with Barry, he had his spirit or mind or whatever. I don't know. I, I like to call it. I like to call it spirit because it's how I kind of view things. That's what it typically was. It was kind of like his ghost self, his spirit self, his spirit from his body, and that's what actually kind of got me nervous and scared though, because it, because it was something non-physical, it was more than just his physical body, because even though, um, because even though the crazy doctor with the mad scissors, the naked twins, some of the creepy prisoners, and the little piggy guy, or whatever, Chris, or whatever, um, Billy was actually the one that actually got me nervous the most because he was spirit. He was, he wasn't physical body. He was something non-thing that you can see. And I think that's why he, and I think that's what he did most of the damage in the whole environment of that area that we just um went through because he went through their bodies and really exploded them like he did with Little Piggy and did with me. But um, man, that was a really good game. I really liked that. That was really interesting and really cool to me. I love that whole concept and story of it. Um, I know I didn't read any of the documents what I did at the beginning, but eventually I decided to stop because I felt like I don't really like reading too much in my videos because I have a hard time reading and I feel like that when I read out loud, it just makes me look bad because I can't read quite well exactly and the reason why is because I special needs and I have autism I have high fun I'm highly disabled so that's why at times I may sound different or I may not have the right words or I may swerp sweat or I may mush together my words and all of that so that's probably one of the reasons why if you notice in some of my videos why I may why my words may not makes sense half the time, but, um, anyway, that was really interesting, and I know I probably couldn't have not grabbed all the documents or whatever, even though I kind of did for some reason, but I know I read them at the beginning, but eventually by the second episode, I decided just to stop and not read them anymore, so I don't know why I decided to still pick them up, but I did them anyway. Maybe if I did read the documents, I could have got more of the of a backstory behind the place or more on some of the evil characters that I, we stumble across, like maybe the evil twins, some of the prisoners that have been through there, and a lot of the other stuff. But um, anyway, man, that was a really good game. I know I keep repeating that, but that was really interesting, and... Even though I saw recordings of this game back when it came out, and even though I always kind of knew what the story was, I just figured I could go ahead and record a good, um, a good horror game, a good horror game for you guys, because I don't really do much horror of what I do, but in the past it's usually just been either Roblox videos or 
maybe some indie games, but I never really done like a story driven or really any actual horror game that's a horror game of itself. So like, that's why I figured I could go ahead and do um, this game over here. I remember, if you guys remember, I actually did one on my second video. The second video I ever made was actually an Outlast video on Roblox though. So it was kind of like a remake of it, but it was an Outlast. I never really actually got around to the game. Can't believe I remember that. It was like, it was like the second video I've made, and I never really got back to that game. In fact, I completely forgot about it until now because of me thinking back on this channel and my progression through over the years, and this journey throughout this game it was really quite a nice journey. So, um, anyway, I am really looking forward to doing other horror games. The next one I'm planning on doing is going to be Alien Isolation, but I'm going to hold that off a little. I probably will do that in some time soon, maybe around this summer, but I'm just going to do long episodes, so I'm going to be like an hour, an hour and a half long videos for Alien Isolation. At least that's what my plan is for that game. So, um, But anyway, I'm going to get to that later on down the road in the future, but um. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, this journey that we've been through. I may do Whistleblower later on down the road also, maybe. I just might do Outlast 2, even though... Even though it may not be scary or whatever, I just might do Outlast, Outlast 2, but I'm not too sure. I've heard that the game may not be as scary as this one, but... um. Anyway, I'll probably do Whistleblower maybe around the fall or winter, maybe even around the summer too, but and somewhere's around the corner, well, at least for me from where I'm at, but um, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I'm not too sure about you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this series, these episodes. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you all sooner or later. Bye-bye.